Victor Mike Charlie, radar contact. Descend to 200. 200, my Charlie. When a plane crashes and hundreds die, we blame the plane or the pilot. Car accidents happen all the time. We blame the car or the driver. He chopped off his limb while cutting a tree. Blame the chainsaw or the guy behind it. Hey folks, Korax here. There are many such incidents. A bucket list of fatalities as well. And we wish they don't happen. But they do. However, do you know, figures show that human error is the main cause of fatal plane crashes. Figures also show driver's fault being the most cause of all deadly car accidents. And boy oh boy, is there any alternative to stupidity? So why is it that when an e-cigarette accident happens, all hell breaks loose? The vapor Nazis start blaming the product immediately. It's the e-cig apocalypse and I'm gonna be real, I have a very bad feeling about it right in here. We told you so. These are unsafe. FDA, CDC, please stop their sale. Ban it, ban it, ban it. Did you wipe off the airlines? Did you close down the auto industry? Did you stop producing the other myriad of hazardous but household products which could kill? So why are we up in arms against this product, the e-cigarette? Why not blame ourselves for its failures whenever that occurs? The fact of the matter is, like our smartphones, iPads, laptops, electric shavers, flashlights, pacemakers, watches, car keys, hearing aid, including that vibrator and the Tesla. Our e-cigarettes also have rechargeable lithium iron batteries inside them. Yes, lithium iron batteries are a hazard, but we also cannot live without them in today's world. However, evidence suggests that A. 99% of the time they are pretty safe and B. Most accidents with these lithium ion batteries are due to user error. The fault is usually ours. Either we are using it wrongly against the product guidelines or we are swapping them with fakes. Purchasing unscrupulous aftermarket parts and accessories including fake batteries. Or we are using an altogether counterfeit, thus a zero quality controlled product obtained from dubious sources which is dangerous and bound to fail sooner than later. The bottom line here is folks, our e-cigarettes are pretty safe. As safe as any other Lion battery product out there. They will not explode if we take precautions and use common sense. Its safety is in our hands. Observe these 10 principles. Do not, I repeat, do not use mechanical mods if you are a new vapor. It has near zero safety features. Use a regulated mod instead. They come with a multitude of safety protections. Do not use dual battery or multi battery mods. Two or more batteries call for additional protections. Thus, better avoided. Do not use rebuildables, RTS, RDS unless you are absolutely clear of Ohm's law. Do not sub-Ohm unless you have a high quality mod underneath and you know what you are doing. Do not charge your devices with anything other than the supplied power adapter. Do not carry your batteries unprotected. Put them in a case. Do not charge your batteries unattended and never overnight. Do not use batteries which are visibly damaged. Do not modify your device unless you are a whiz kid. And do not purchase fakes. Unfortunately called clones in our vaping circles, but they are not. They are counterfeits, which are dangerous. 
because they do not come from a proven and established manufacturer with any worthwhile R&D. That Florida man's death a few days back, the first ESIG fatality is unfortunate. Rest in peace, Telmoj. We vapors mourn with the D'Elia family for their ultimate loss. This is something that shouldn't have happened. And in this moment of grief, let's pledge that we will take the aforesaid 10 corrective steps so that such a mishap never happens again. Nonetheless, we should always remember that vaping is a healthier alternative and we have the right to make that choice. But dare not bring forth that argument to me that vaping has an added disadvantage. It's more hazardous because it is closer to our face. Bullshit. Remember that pacemaker is inside you. And that vibrator? Oh. I rest my case.